All right, this is the new smoker design. You can see that it is much larger than the current smoker. We're building this from scratch. It'll have four doors plus a firebox door. It's going to be vertical. It's going to have two chimneys. This is 72 inches wide, 76 inches high, and three feet deep. We will take a look now at what this will look like cat it out. Here's the frame. You can see we've got a wireframe design of it where we're catting out all the different parts. This is the cabinet without the doors on it. So we're just trying to make sure we have our ducks in a row and have everything ready as we start to weld and build this rig, this cooker to go on the rig. Uh, here is uh, what it'll look like once it's on the rig and once we put sides on the rig. So you can see it looks nice. The rig will look a lot nicer with the sides on it. And this new smoker will fit completely across the width of that uh, rig. All right, we'll be back with some welding. All right, we're starting a new cooker build. Dresh is behind me starting to cut out our tube steel. We're going to be cutting, making the cuts today with the tube steel and trying to put together the exterior frame. The new smoker is going to be built completely from scratch. We're not going to have any uh, old refrigerator, nothing like that. We're building this one from the ground up. It's going to be 76 inches high, 72 inches wide, 36 inches deep. It'll be able to hold two whole hogs and a whole mess of shoulders. So uh, we'll get back to you and we'll show you the progress. See, we're making the cuts at 45s so that the frame will be closed so we don't get any water or any weight in the tube steel itself. Make the first weld on a new cooker. Dresh, any words? Yeah. No, we're just gonna fire it up, see what we can do. There we go. All right. got our all of our cross members cut we've got 476 472 432 about to start welding got anything to say about it dress well what we got here is our inner frame so we're gonna I mean outer frame we've got thick wall tube hopefully make it you know good and sturdy so basically all we gotta do is put our 45 up and make it go square all right We got both frames put together. The outer frames. The next thing we'll be doing is we'll put the we'll get these tacked up, these sides welded, the ground down. Then we'll take and we'll put our post on, and then we'll start to assemble the frame. We'll tack it up and then finish welding it. We just tacked on the first post. Goes up 34 inches. That'll make the whole thing. I mean, 32 inches, that'll make the whole thing 34 inches. Got it all tacked in place. You can see we put a strap on it to pull it square. We cross square every corner. Get it, make sure it's good square. And what I'm going to do now is just come around and take one little weld on each corner. 
just skip around that way. You have to well know their heat on one corner, making it warm. Increase your heat, move around, and just take do one little weld on each corner, and just keep moving back and forth so you, all your heat doesn't just go to one area at one time. All right, so we're going from corner to corner. Like Steve said, he's skip welding it so we don't warp the frame. We got it squared up. We measured it about three times. We got a strap on it uh, to make sure that we've got it square. And so he's going from corner to corner, skip welding so we don't warp. What you can see there is we've got our frame built. You can see it's about 76 inches high, 72 inches wide, 34 inches deep. And uh, next we'll be using some light gauge steel tube to build an inner box uh, so that we have about two inch insulated thick walls.